Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Florida Boy. This is my EC channel. You know where you're at. You know who I am. I probably don't need to do that, but it just habit by now. Uh, anyways, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Civivi sequel. Let's get into it. C Quill CP01. I, I I think it's I think the name for it is the the C Quill, but they call it the the Civ CP01 A for aluminum. Um this is the B for black. But uh so this is the C Quill. This is Civivi's pen. And uh so I figured this needed its own video because this is it's a fifty dollar item. Um, I didn't pay for this. My buddy Dan sent this in, and Dan, Dan's, Dan's the man. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I just never know what that, what, what he's gonna send over here, and it's always just awesome stuff. Um, I low key get super excited every time I get an email from him that's like, "You got a package on the way," and I'm like, "Oh man!" I'm like, at at one, on one hand, I'm like, "Dude, I wish he didn't. I wish he didn't do that because you know." Make, I'm not good at receiving gifts. <laughs> I'm, I'm so not good at it. But then on the other hand, I'm like, I cannot wait to, cause me and Dan have like the exact same taste and stuff. So I know what, if he, when he sees something he likes, I, I know I like it too. So, okay, I'll stop, stop fanboying for a second. Um, so this is the sequel. There we go. The CP mine is the mine in particular is the CP zero one B. And, uh, this is the Civivi pen. And uh, so I did, like I said, I did a little bit of the unboxing on the mail time video that I had uh, opening up the package from Dan, um, but we are going to do the real unboxing here because I just kind of skimmed through it and um, you, you know, you know the format. We're going to do the unboxing and then we're going to go and do a review on this after I've carried it for a little bit of time and we'll compare this to some of my other pens. That way you can kind of see size difference and whatnot. So get this box out of the way real, real quick like. So here is your sequel or your CP01B. <laughs> so this is an aluminum body and you can see how it's square. And we do have some, um, I, I, I don't know, you know, I, this, this probably is for aesthetics, uh, cause well, you're not going to grip it up here. So it would have to be for aesthetics, but you can see we're square here and we have a little bit of just a little bit of milling or, um, you know, texturing on, on here. But then as it gets down, as it tapers down to where you're actually going to hold the pen and we start getting that little spiral, te spiral texturing. Um, it actually fits really nice and the square is very nice because it doesn't roll around in your hand And I think I said that on the first video that I did. So this is a bolt action Got gotta have the bolt action. What what's a pen nowadays if it's not a bolt action? And you do have a very subtle glass breaker It's a ball end glass breaker. So it's not gonna poke you see I can it's Not gonna destroy my hand <laughs> Um, and, and that's pretty cool. It's cool that it has a little, like the little glass breaker on it, but it doesn't like, if I held it here, that does not look like a glass breaker. Like you're not going to look at this and go, that's the most tactical pen I've ever seen in my life. No, no, you're not, you're not going to do that. So, um, hold on, I'm reaching behind me. You know, you know, how I always gotta, everything I need for every video, I got to keep behind me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I do that to myself, but the pen itself about five inches, um, I mean, almost exactly five inches thickness wise. We're at like right at about half an inch. I don't have calipers. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. Um, like if we go to here, you can see here, we are right about half an inch, pretty dang close. It's like 0.43 ish. Scale. <laughs> I had to reach behind me again. If you couldn't guess. Um, so as far as weight goes, it is under an ounce, which is awesome. We'll talk about the refill here in just a second. 
I can tell you that I have not done a lot of research to see if you could use other types of refills on this, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, so let me grab, grab my other pens and we'll do a couple comparisons. So, um, oh, dang it. Okay. Hold on. So here is the bastion. That's the executive pen. And then here is the Olight Open 2. And I just realized that I did not grab an Open Pro. Um, so hold on. They're like literally right here. Hold on. So, no, that'll work. Okay. All right. Jesus. So hard to get up and walk around. Whenever I have everything like sitting around me. Okay. I've been so scatterbrained lately. Um, so here is the open pro and, uh, you can see that it's actually a smaller size, which is, which is pretty nice. Um, it doesn't feel super top heavy, like some of the opens feel, but it's not super small either, because if we get rid of the open two and put off the open mini, that's super small. I think the size of the Civivi pen is very ED, EDCable, carryable, EDCable. Is that a word? I don't think EDC is a word. I think that's a word that's been made up by the community. Uh, so is ED, EDCable probably is not a word. I don't. I don't know. But you can see it's the size size wise. It's great. Um, here we go. Here's what we'll do: pen, pen, and pen. There you go. So that should give you a good idea about kind of what you're looking at size-wise on this Civivi Sequel pen. Now, let's let's get into the fun part. So, removing these two opens off the table because they take the same refill, um, we'll pull out my open two, which is also a pen that Dan sent me. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, uh, this is the, Dan sent me this one too, and this is actually my current EDC. Um, I carry this every day, use it every day. Um, so we're going to get into refills. So the refill on this guy is a Schmidt Schmitty P900. And, uh, I have not looked up to see if there were any like universal replacements. Um, the Bastion pen takes a Bastion refill, which if I remember correctly, I think, I think that was a Schmidt refill too. I might be wrong there. Um, but that's, that's your Bastion refill. Um, I need to, I need to look to see if I can remember what that was. Um, and then, you know, I'm there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that watch my channel that do a lot of Olight. Um, so I'm sure I'm, you know, especially the open minis and you can see here, this is actually a Schmidt refill too. Um, doesn't say the number though. Oh, I, I was going to say, I didn't, but this is basically a rebranded Schmidt refill. That's for Olight. So the P 900, I'm sure there are other like replacements for it. And of course with Schmidt, you can always find a, a different number for Schmidt. That is a little bit more readily accessible. Um, I believe that's a German cartridge. Does it say it on here? Oh uh, yeah. Made in Germany. Yep. So, um, yeah, the, you know, it, whenever you order these straight from Schmidt, you have to wait for them to come over and it takes a while. So usually there's some kind of refill. Uh, if this is anything like the Olight pens, the O pens, uh, th there's a guy on Etsy and I think he, I think he also sells them on eBay, but he sells an adapter that allows you to, that goes on the end of like fish or space pen refills and stuff like that. And it allows you to use other refills inside the Olight pens. And, uh, you know, that might be something that can happen with a Civivi pen. And um, it, whether or not it is or not, I mean, let me let me show you something real fast. Let me, let me show you something. The, I, <laughs> so here, here's some Olight refills. And uh, I actually have... I keep one of these boxes in my bag 
that I carry with me every day. And uh, the one that's in my bag, I actually have six refills in it. I poked extra holes inside the little holder because they're, they're just like standing straight up in here. I poked extra holes inside the holders and I put three more refills in it. So I have three, six, nine, 12, 18 refills. Three, six, nine, 12. Did I do that wrong? No, I did that right. Okay, yeah. So I have 18 refills. It's it's early. It's early for me right now. 8.30. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have a lot of Olight refills. Uh, pretty much every time I order something from Olight, I kind of throw in a box of refills. And uh, I just, I use pens so much that I just don't want to run out of ink. So I'll have to look to see kind of what, what kind of refills I can use with this. Because... I'll pick up some more. I haven't really got to use this whole lot and we're about to use it now um, just to test it out. But I can tell you just by holding it, I'm, I'm a fan of the ergos. Like I think the ergonomics on this are great. Um, the, the tapering down to a normal round pen down here at the bottom, move this Olight pen out of the way, um, to going to the square up top so it doesn't roll around feels really nice. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, let me grab a pad of paper paper so um the bolt action feels good there's no sharp edges here everything's everything's chamfered and knocked down very well nothing sharp that's gonna that's gonna hurt me which is nice because even you know even the glass breaker is not sharp which is cool um i think i i think this is just gonna be a really nice pen if we look at the difference here the one thing i don't like about opens is they're thick and it's okay, like it really isn't bad, but after a while of writing with this, the thicker pens seem to kind of fatigue you a little faster. So I'm interested to know, and that's that's an assumption made by yours truly, because I, I don't seem, it doesn't seem like I get all the time, but I don't know, I just is that a thing i feel like because it's so it's so much bigger around that i i just tend to squeeze it a little bit more since my fingers aren't making contact with each other versus like with this i can hold it like a normal pen and i can just kind of i can kind of flow and write so i'm wondering if this won't fatigue see like i'm holding the pens and i'm already like cracking my wrist like i've been writing for hours i haven't even started writing yet um so yeah i'm, I'm pretty interested to see how this how this the tapered down kind of goes hmm so civivi c well yeah so if we look you can see there's no skipping it writes fairly nice if i do one of these long drawn out lines see black all the way down no no skipping do a nice little give him a nose he needs a nose <laughs> there you go yeah look at that see so the cartridge the cartridge that's in here writes really really nice and uh i don't have any kind of jumping or skipping so like the cartridge and this is a relatively new cartridge in here it's not 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 been not been left in here a super long time but you can see the difference you can you can definitely see a difference between the two. I feel like I even write. No, well, that looks pretty close to the same thing. I feel like I write a little bit different whenever I'm writing with the opens. But you can see whenever it's short strokes, it looks very similar. But for the long strokes, that cartridge in the Civivi looks a little better. At least in that at least in this scenario right here. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty interested to see how this does on a normal day to day. The, a little bit springier on the bolt action too. I'll let you hear the sounds if you can't hear them well. So here's the Olight or the, here is the O pin two fidgeting it just, just a little. Here's the Savivi. Definitely moves a whole lot faster. Open two. We'll go to the old pen pro. There we go. Sidi. 
there you go okay you're probably probably tired of me clicking in your ears so the the button feels really good the bolt feels really good on the civivi um i think it i think it feels very very nice actually i man i i'm kind of i'm kind of hoping i don't love this a whole lot you know a whole lot more than i love the other one because i don't have any refills for it i'm pretty sure that this is not did i compare the refill size with the olight one yet I'm, yeah they're not even close i didn't think so dang it <laughs> oh well okay get that uh, get that back out of the way so uh yeah i'll have to i'll have to do a little bit of research on this refill and just kind of see what my options are because i really do like to have refills a lot of them there you go get a close-up and I, I think i don't know if i showed a close-up on it but there's your o-ring everything else on this pen feels super super nice the so the body's aluminum i don't know if i said this but the clip is stainless steel for anybody that's wondering but yeah that's basically it i won't uh this has already been like 15 minutes so i won't draw it out super super long since this is just a you know a video on a pen <laughs> but it's my pen but so like i said relatively an unboxing video if you didn't watch the mail time video i just wanted to do a normal format for this pen itself and then um i'll carry it for a little while we'll do a we'll do a check back and review on it and uh i'll keep you up to date we'll we'll see how we'll see how it goes so thank you guys for stopping by checking out my video i appreciate it i appreciate it very very much couldn't do it without you uh, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. I'd appreciate that too. <laughs> uh, thanks again, guys. I really appreciate you. Catch you on the next one.